guys, so I have my coffee here. This has two tablespoons of half and half. This is the caramel apple coffee. It is amazing. Um, it's that one I picked up at Marshall's. I ended up picking up a second bag. So good. Um, I have my bang drink, and I will probably grab another coffee on my way out. Uh, for snack, usual, two of the bologna. It's like that um, Lebanon bologna, pepper jack cheese, roll-ups, and a hard boiled egg. Lunch today is going to be the keto sausage pizza. This is the sausage crust pizza. I made it in my meal prep video. I will have that link down below. And then also a side salad with some spring mix, some pepper jack cheese, avocado, and homemade ranch dressing. I show how I make that ranch dressing in my meal prep video as well. So this is everything I'm starting my day with. I'm a little bit hungry this morning, but I think I'm just gonna drink my coffee and not make anything right now. We'll see, I'll let you know if I have anything. Good morning guys, so happy Tuesday. I'm sorry I did not chit chat much yesterday. I, um, at lunchtime, I had to run to Walmart to pick up prescriptions and then by the time I got back, I barely had any time to eat lunch and since my lunch was kind of complicated, I wanted to actually be able to put all my lunch together and eat most of it before I had to go back to work. So that's why I didn't take time to chat. Um, today should be a little bit better. I had to run over to Rite Aid today. I was gonna go to Walgreens. I need, I like ran, I'm running out. Of, I ran out of my makeup stuff like at the same time, like things that I need to get. And Walgreens is just, it's not as quick and easy to get to as it used to be when at our other location. But Rite Aid is literally just like right, just a, well, it's still not that easy to get to, but it's easier than Walgreens. So I think I'm gonna head to Rite Aid and get a few makeup things. They also have a really good e.l.f. selection and I know e.l.f. just came out with quite a few new products that I wanna try out. So I'm heading there at lunchtime. Um, if you guys have not seen my chicken pot pie recipe, I posted in yesterday's vlog. It is amazing. It is so good. I definitely will be making that through the fall and winter. It is so good. Tonight's dinner is going to be, I'm gonna do the smoked pulled pork from Costco and then do a cheesy, um, I have some pepper jack cheese. I was gonna do Brussels sprouts, but you guys, you know, I'm not like a huge Brussels sprout fan. I haven't been, and so I really wanna be in the mood for them. And so I just threw those in the freezer, the ones I bought last week, and I'm just gonna try them like if I start feeling like I want them, then I'll just pull them out. No big deal. But I just wasn't feeling them the last couple of days and I didn't want them to go bad. So I just threw them in the freezer. Speaking of my freezer, I really need to go through my freezer. Oh, I was going to say cheesy cauliflower rice. So I'm going to do like some pepper jack cheese and I'll show you guys how I do that. And it is so good and it does not taste like cauliflower rice. I'll tell you guys right now, I am so confident in saying that it does not. I put like, um, I'm gonna use some of the Fresh Jack's toasted onion seasoning, put that in there with some pepper jack cheese, some heavy cream, so good. And you do not even know you're eating cauliflower, honestly. I was not a huge cauliflower fan before I started doing, you know, just even like when I started doing Weight Watchers, I would start eating a lot of cauliflower and I was not a fan. And, um, but now that I can kind of, you know, what is the word? Zhuzh it up. I don't know. As I can make it, you know, a little bit more fancy with the cheese and stuff, then I like it much more. Um, so I will show you guys how I put that all together. I don't know if you all could see. No, I don't think you can see like. There's like a camper. I don't think you guys can see it. It's been parked there since last week and it's huge and it's taking up like, and it's parked like sideways and it's taking up like four spaces and I don't know why nobody will do anything about it. We are part of the library. If you guys have never noticed, like you can see where it says public library, our, our offices are in um, the back of the library, like kind of like the side of the library, hard to explain. But anyway, um, I don't know if that's why they just let it park there because this is technically a public building. I don't know. They weren't taking up so many spots. It may not be so annoying, but they are. And sometimes we hardly can get a parking spot here when there's events going on. Caramel apple coffee with, um, I put some of the pumpkin caramel in there. I'm almost out of it, but I have um, a little bit more. I got in my keto gift swap box. It is so good. It is so good with that pumpkin caramel in there. I wasn't sure how it was going to be. I just wanted something a little bit sweeter. 
I'm almost out of my pure sweetener and I won't be able to go get any more until Saturday. If I would have known I was out when I was at Walmart yesterday, I would have went and got it there because it's the only place I can find it. So I think I'm going to head into work and um, I'll talk to you guys about a few things at lunchtime because there's a few things that I'm going to change up on some of my videos just to make things a little bit easier for me on the weekend. So we will talk about that at lunchtime. Okay, I should have ate breakfast because now I'm hungry. So I'm gonna have, I have one of these left, so I'm gonna eat the last one in that one. Hey guys, so it is the end of the day. I didn't get a chance to get on here at lunchtime. I had to run errands and then get back to work and eat my lunch, which I just wanted to check in super quickly and let you guys know that sausage, that keto sausage pizza, so it's like the sausage crust um, with the toppings, it's absolutely amazing. It is so good. So now I was a little bit nervous about it because it looked super like it kind of seemed like it was going to be a very heavy meal. But when you heat it up, it's like the sausage gets so tender and I'm sure it's because of the, when did it have in it? Did it have almond flour and coconut flour? I think so. I don't know. But whatever I put in there, <laughs> it, um, it is so good. It, it's like the crust is like, it's soft and tender and it is amazing so you guys have got to try that recipe i will make sure my meal prep video will be linked down below i'll try to remember to put it here in the sky as well amazing i cannot like stress enough how good that pizza was so definitely check that out i think you guys will really love it do whatever toppings you want the original recipe had um green peppers and spinach and think that was it I feel like there's something else but um I just did pepperoni salami and then the green peppers and onions and that was amazing it would probably be good with any kind of toppings honestly I just it was so good I it was so good so definitely check that recipe out um I think I'm I may even like do it on a separate video so it's really easy for people to find I may like kind of play around with the toppings and do like a couple different like options and put them all in one video because you guys that beats as good um so I think I will have that because there's quite a bit of it and I don't know like the kids may eat some tonight because I'm just gonna do that um smoked pulled pork which I never made my family's a fan of that pulled pork I don't know why they're crazy that is so good so that's dinner tonight is that smoked pulled pork with the cheesy cauliflower rice which I'll show you here in the next slide um next frame whatever it's called um how to make that and um but I think like tomorrow Instead of pulling meat out of the freezer, I honestly think I'm just gonna have that keto pizza for leftovers, like the leftovers, cause it's like, it's almost like, I feel like it's one of those recipes that it's good like as a leftover, like it's good like the next day, cause everything's been kind of like melting and everything, Ugh, so good. So that may be my dinner tomorrow night and just eat it up and make sure I use it all up. So other than that, things are going well. I know I haven't been very chatty in my videos last couple days, it's just a lot going on and I'm in just kind of in the, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out how to get my channel to like start like moving again. I feel like I'm doing something wrong because my views are so low. I don't know if it's just that time of year or if there's something I'm doing wrong. So I've just been really spending a lot of time at night um, and during my lunch time just really focusing on things I can do with my channel and just trying to get it to... Um, just move again I mean not that I mean I'm never this is never gonna be my career obviously I, I like working I like working outside the home that is my you know, like my passion I like what I do working in education I feel like it's so 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 important to work in education and I mean I think any job is important but I like the fact that I work in education and I just I see that and I just I I love I love what my job stands for so um, I could never like just, you know, do YouTube. So I'm not like striving for that, but I, I think just the kind of the OCD type A personality of myself, I'm feeling like I'm doing something wrong and I need to change it. And I think that's all it is, but it's been kind of on my heart and on my mind lately. And so that's kind of why I haven't been on here much because I've just been doing a lot with that every like spare moment. That's what I've been doing like in the mornings and all of that. So Anywho, I am going to head home and make that dinner, and I guys, I will share that with you next, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.